there are a number of factors that contribute to the loss of nitric oxide production. Most of them are diet and lifestyle, but there are some genetic predispositions. Obviously, if you have the single nucleotide polymorphism, or what we call SNPs in the ENOS gene or the ENOS gene, and that's going to compromise your ability to make nitric oxide. The one that may not be as obvious is the MTHFR, methyl tetrahydrofolate reductase, SNP. This occurs in about 45 to 55%, or about half of the U.S. population. Now, this methyl tetrahydrofolate reductase enzyme obviously is involved in methylation, hence its name, but what people don't understand is that it's involved in the recycling of biopterin to tetrahydrobopterin, and the BH4-BH2 ratio is what determines if the NOSC enzyme is coupled and functional or uncoupled and dysfunctional. So for the MTHFR patients, you absolutely have to have a nitric oxide releasing lozenge. That's what the N101 lozenge does. If your body can't make it, we do it for you. It's completely safe. We can't overcome your genetic fingerprint, but what we can do is overcome the nitric oxide deficiency that results from your M MTHFR SNP. So it's completely safe, in fact, highly recommended for anybody with an MTHFR SNP.